Are you after a sturdy wallet that can take a hyper beam, look cute like a Gardevoir, and be slim like a Sudowoodoo? Well, I got you covered. Introducing the Ridge Wallet, a slim, sexy way to carry around your cards and cash. I've used the Ridge Wallet for over 69 years now. The Ridge Wallet comes in a variety of styles to suit your everyday needs. These are some of the wallet styles I like the best, like the carbon fiber, the titanium, the gold, really nice cool designs to make you stand out. They also have some neat products to complement your wallet, like a bottle opener, pens, backpacks, charging, knives, you name it. You can get 10% off your purchase today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash pipnight. Yes, that's right, ridge.com slash pipnight and use code pipnight Link in the description of the video. Cheers, Ridge, for the channel sponsor. What's up, it's you? Five days video. we we full Beetle Pokemon team. I've got six Pokemon that I thought were Beetles or closest to the Beetles, and I put them on one team. I'm going to be writing some pictures of what the Pokemon actually are based on, like the Beetles they're based on. So it's going to be a very little uh, scientific video today. You may learn something new. I've got three battles, and I really hope you enjoy them. First battle here, this one is against Cruz or Cruz. I'm not really sure how to say that. And we got a Bisharp lead. My first Pokemon here is going to be Carablast, and I'll explain why Carablast is on this team, because you may be curious. First things first, let's go over its moveset. So we got Mega Horde, Error Race, Drill Run, and Knock Off. I've got Choice Span as the item, and I've got No Guard as the ability. We've got Max Health and Max Attack, so it's going to be hitting pretty hard. So we've got a special Bisharp here with Air Slash. You wouldn't read about it. I'm going to go for the Drill Run there and doing some quality damage. Now, Carablast is absolutely disgusting. It's based off a Carabin Beetle. Basically, what it does is it empties snail shells. That is so gross. But there you go, people. That's a uh, very, very gross beetle. Maybe you've seen that on, like, a, uh, I don't know, like an animal show or something like that. But uh, that is what it is based on. So uh, we got these uh, resting Bisharp with snores. I was like, okay. And I lived on one health with my Carablast, like you wouldn't read about. So I'm preparing to go for a big drill run again to take out this Bisharp, right? But I got flinched by snore. It's unbelievable, and now Bisharp is going to be able to take me out with another Snore. So a Snore Bisharp, people, only on Pip Nice channel. It, I'm actually a little bit salty after that, I've got to say. Next Pokemon I'm going to swap it here is going to be Heracross. Now, Heracross is uh, going to be a special set. I always explain what sort of beetle is if you don't know it already. So we got Endure, Struggle Bug, Focus Miss, and Venoshock. It's, once again, its special deck is very, very limited, the moves that it gets. And uh, yeah, it's extremely bad. So I'm going to go for a Focus Miss there, and it is going to finish off the Bisharp, which is really good. I've got Max Speed and Max Special Attack, and I've got Modest Nature. Swarm is the ability, and Weakness Policy is the item. So I'm sort of hoping to get it by, like, a super effective attack here, right? Now, Heracross is based off the Japanese Rhinoceros Beetle. So there you go. Maybe you've uh, seen one of them crawling around before. That looks absolutely, like, huge and stuff like that. But uh, very cool looking beetle. Um, has anyone actually ever collected uh, like insects or bugs when they were a kid? Like that was actually something that I did. Like uh, you know, I was very, very young. It was really, really cool. Like seeing all the different insects crawling around. Anyway, let's get back to the battle and some more scientific stuff. We've got uh, a beware here, and I uh, maybe I should beware. Now the funny thing is, uh, I went for endure, and then the beware went for endure. So maybe the beware's got some sort of item. I'm gonna go for a focus miss here, and beware lives. I thought it had a focus sash, but it didn't. It had a bear. It lived on one health. You wouldn't read about it. And somehow it lived all of that and got the uh, Salic Berry and managed to get a payback off. Now, I'm assuming that Beware doesn't have any other really super effective or even neutral moves to use against me. Otherwise, you know, it would have clearly used them already. So I'm just going to take Beware out there with a Struggle Bug. Uh, that's uh, powered up by Swarm when I can get Heracross on a low amount of health there. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, Inteleon. Now, this might be some sort of theme team as well. If you can guess what it is, make sure you leave it you know, below in the comment section there. And if you like these animal-style teams, just give it, give me a thumbs up on the video and let me know in the comment section, you know. I've got, actually got quite a couple of these sort of a brainstorm there. If you want to see them, you know, let me know there. I can uh, probably try and push them out in the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, so we got this Inteleon. It's got a Focus Energy Snipe Shot set. So this, this is a good set. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of Heracross. This is a, this is a massive threat there. So that is going to be the end of the Heracross. 
I actually don't mind Heracross and Pink. It looks alright. Uh, it's one of those, uh, some Pink Pokemon look alright, but others don't. But that actually kind of suits it. So we got the next Pokemon as Vicar Bolt. Now we got this Zap Cannon Air Slash, and this is based off the Stag Beetle. So very menacing uh, looking beetle right there. Like it's big, uh, it's big uh, front, what do you call them? Like, uh, not, not like nippers. What's the name for them? Oh, you know, it'll come to me in a second. Anyway, I got wrecked there by one shot, unfortunately, so I couldn't use Zap Cannon on Inteleon at all. And I'll have more on that moveset and uh, strategy in the second and third battle. We're going to go to All Beetle now because it is time for a Desperation Dynamax. This thing is uh, like no joke. So All Beetle is uh, obviously based on a Ladybug there. Uh, ladybugs are pretty cool. That could be uh, you know, one of my favorite bugs there. I was actually thinking about using, uh, would have been nice to use Ledian and Lady Bar on this team, but of course, you know, I know someone's going to ask, uh, they were on Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but they're not in Sword and Shield, otherwise it definitely would have been on this team as my sixth Pokemon member. So we're going to go for a G-Max or b from one of my favorite G-Maxes here, and my character got beamed up for a second. Now, this is going to be a physical set. We've got Body Press, Leech Life, Zen Head by Giga Impact with a Scope Lens. I got the ability Frisk feeling frisky and I can go for max ult and max attack uh, EV so body press is going to be the way to go for max knuckle in the uh, in the G max and then I can go for Zen headbutt now the cool thing about this it's going to have its uh, uh, gravity right will be put on the field then you can have a hundred percent actually for Zen headbutt which is really nice and it also has a chance to uh, you know flinch and stuff as well so we got the next Pokemon as Porygon Hmm, what is this team by? I mean, I've got a sort of an idea. I've got a uh, Max Knuckle here. I thought, you know what? Max Knuckle would be... I reckon this should be about a two-hit KO, right? Something along those lines. Unless it's a Dynamax Porygon. I doubt it, though. So going for Max Knuckle here uh, on the Porygon, doing enormous amounts of damage there. The next one will easily be able to take it out. So that's plus one in attack there, which is going to be very nice. Now, Porygon isn't going to go for a Troll move. It's going for Discharge to try and paralyze me. Doesn't do a lot of damage, doesn't get a paralyzed. So I'm very, very happy about that. Here comes the second Max Knuckle, and that is going to be the end of Porygon. So things are starting to look up here, you know? Um, I've got plus two in attack, and, you know, this uh, All Beetle is going to come like a very, very threatening thing. Now, with Leech Life, you can attack too and get your health back, and it's got very, very good bulk to it too. So even even though the Body Press isn't so useful with uh, getting Max Knuckles, you can still, you know, hit a you know, fairly powerful, uh, you know, hit against some Pokemon here, like this little Eevee. So I had a feeling... Uh, that they would probably go for like, I don't know, G-Max EV, because I hadn't gone for a G-Max or Dynamax yet. So I've got Body Press, like, you know what? I'm just going to go for Body Press here. So we got a, uh, a G-Max EV here. Now, with uh, all Beetle's defenses, I thought, well, I should be able to live this, you know, or we'll get very, very close. Like, all Beetle's like very, very tanky too. I'm trying to think some more Beetle Pokemon that aren't in Sword and Shield. Like, I, I know uh, Lady Bar and Ledin. If you can think of some other Beetle Pokemon that I haven't mentioned, please let me know in the comment section of the video. But I definitely feel that I covered all the main ones on this team in Sword and Shield. So, uh, we got the Orb Beetle getting hit by Max Dark, because I assume that's coming off Bite. Uh, knowing EVs are sort of limited moveset. And I managed just to leave and get a beautiful body press off there doing a lot of damage. Here comes a Max Knuckle from EV. They're not playing any games here, people. And that is going to be the end of all battle. That's actually sort of lucky for them there that I live because they got like a plus one in attack there. Nice little free boost. So uh, EV's got one more turn in G-Max. I've got two more Pokemon left. And uh, we got the Gravity. So uh, Gravity going too. So I'm going to bring in Pins in our Pins up as well, obviously, is based off the same sort of beetle as the uh, Vicavolt, the Stag Beetle. So there you go. Another really cool picture. I guess the big uh, pincers. That's what they're called, pincers. <laughs> I guess it's the name's pincer. How could I not know that? Anyway, we're going to go for protect it. It's good to use protection. And I'm going to try and stall out this uh, EV's G-Max Cuddle there. I'm going to live that one really easy. Now, this is a pretty interesting Pinter set. Um, it, it's got Moxie, which is fairly good. But when I used this set, I absolutely had to go Mimic before I started using, like, uh, other attacks, right? So I want to Mimic EV's attack. Unfortunately, it's going to outspeed me, and it's going to go Charm. So, like, you know what? I'm going to Mimic Charm, and then I'm going to use Charm on the EV. Because, like, it just, like, dropped my attack by two stages. So I learned Mimic on Pinter, on your Pinter channel. And now the EV is going to go for a double edge. So that, uh-oh. And that is the end of my Pinter, sadly. I, I wish I could have Mimic that and used it on EV. It almost actually faked it there to the recall damage, too. Uh, the other moves, the Bug Bite and Earthquake, we had mim uh, Protect and Mimic, uh, Max Speed and Max Attack, Heavy Duty Boots and Moxie. 
Last Pokemon is Genesec. I know this one is a, a big stretch. It still is a bug. Its face reminds me of a Dragonfly, and it folds up into a little saucer thing too. What do you reckon, people? I think that, that's the best Beetle-like Pokemon I can think of there. Now, I will say one thing too. I know there's other pre-evolution to these, this team, like all Beetles are pre-evolution, but I wanted to do different Pokemon in different families, right? Or evolution lines. So I thought of Genesec. It does quite look like a bug if you take the cannon part away. Uh, that could almost be like its wings. But what do you think? What could have been another good Pokemon for this team? Let me know in the comment section of the video here. I'm going to get a Fell Stinger, and then I'm going to get a Fury Attack, and that is going to be the end of the Luxray. It fainted to recoil. That is a salty way to go out. Thank you, Chris, for the battle there. Really cool team. Let's get on to battle number two. This is a battle against Zigzag, Zigzag Gamer, and man, this is a long, long match. And uh, I was going to say something there, but you probably don't know what I was going to say. Next Pokemon is going to be Doug Trio, and it's a, it's shiny, so it's going to be versing my Carablast. Now, Carablast, uh, as you know, is a no guard set, so none of its moves can miss. So the Doug Trick is using Sand Attack against me, and it's not going to do anything. I'm going to ignore all the scum. So go for the Mega Horny here on the uh, Doug Tree and Mole, Pat Mole Patrol. I, I like that name. That's pretty good. Mole Patrol is going to be living on one health with a Focus Sash. So it's going to go for Sand Attack again. And I, I, I obviously that I don't. They obviously don't know that this Pokemon has no guard. I mean. How many poke like people really use Carablast? Let's be real. So it's one of those like more unknown no guard ability Pokemon. So that's going to be the end of the Doug Trio. And uh, next Pokemon is Scullipede. Now, when I looked at their team preview, right, I've done, as you know, I've done a lot of Pokemon. So there's hundreds, if not thousands of attempts, at, uh, well, thousands of attempts of Pokemon Sweep, right? I know a Pokemon Sweep team when I see one, right? And I believe this was a sweeping Pokemon team. I wasn't really sure what they were trying to get their stats uh, passed to, though, but I had a feeling it was with the Doug Tree and the Scolopede. So Scolopede's going to have a speed boost and it's going to have iron defense. I've got my Orb Beetle here, and the Scolopede is going to start using Protect. So it's going to get speed boost and it's going to get defensive boost. So it's got plus two in speed and plus two in defense so far. This thing is going to be very, very bulky, but I don't believe that like, this is definitely not the last Pokemon. I know it's going to be passed on to uh, like something else, right? So we're going to go into Vicavolt. Last time I didn't get to tell you this set. So this one was uh, Max Health. It's very, very bulky. And we've got uh, Max Special Attack. Now I've got the uh, item as Quick Law. I've got Zap Cannon as the uh, uh, main attacking move here to paralyze him with Air Slash. So Zap Cannon, Air Slash. Just for pure assault, right? Now, the thing here, right? I got a quick claw on the Scallopede, but they got a protect. Like, oh, that really, really sucks. So, I've also got Bug Bars and I've got Flash Cannon as well. This team, as you can imagine, was very, very weak to fire types and, uh, you know, rock types and, and flying types. It's very, very scary, right, against those. So, now the uh, Scallopede's going to go for a baton pass here and pass all those stats off onto another Pokemon. And it is going to be a Marowak Alola. Oh dear. So now I'm going to go for Air Slash here on the Marowak. I did pretty good damage there considering. And now Marowak is going to be the Dynamax Pokemon. This is very, very bad. So as you can see, this Pokemon is going to be out at speed my entire team. Even my fastest Pokemon like, you know, Genesect and uh, Pinsa and Heracross. So it's going to be able to outspeed them like, like easily after all those speed boosts. So here we go, people. We have to take this thing out. Now, I know that it's going to have some sort of fire type move here, and it's going to be going for a max flare. Now, I don't know what sort of set it is at the moment, whether it's physical or special. I have no idea, but I'm guessing I will find out very, very soon. Now, my first clue as to what it would be actually came in this encounter with Vicavolt getting one shot. So, as you can see, it's got Life Orb, so it would have Thick Club normally if it was a physical set. So, I thought, mm, maybe it's a special set, you know, with Life Orb. I wasn't 100% sure, but that was the first little clue that could have given it away. Heracross is going to be my Pokemon to swap in here because I'm going to stall the other two turns of Dynamax out here uh, with Endure. So I thought that'd be a smart play. Plus, I can get two more rounds of Life Orb damage on the Marowak too. Will that be enough to take it out? No, like I'm miles away from even having a chance of fainting a pair. At least I can stall that out for a bit of damage, and I can also get rid of the sun eventually too, because that sun's, you know, boosting Marowak's fire type moves. It's very, very scary. So I went for a double in duel there. I tried to go for a double or a triple one uh, to be able to take it out, but unfortunately it didn't work. Heracross is going to faint. It was a good effort though. Bye bye, Heracross. We're versing a very, very good counter right now. Next Pokemon is Carablast. I thought this is the most expendable Pokemon I could swap in at the moment, uh, waiting for that sunshine to go away too. 
now. I've only taken a Doug True out, and that, that's it. You know, I've still got, like, after this, I've still got four more Pokemon. Marowak is going to go for a Flamethrower. It's a special set that still fried my Carablast in one shot there. So they've got the Sun and a Life Orb. So this is still no joke, people. Now we're going to go into Pincy. I was like, okay, um, I wonder if I can actually mimic an attack here with Pincy. Can I do it this time? First turn, we're going to go for protection there. They've got one more turn of Sun left. I was like, okay, this is my chance, right? So uh, Mal Marowak is going to go for the uh, Flamethrower. It's going to hit the Protect. Nothing's going to happen. And now the Sun is going to go away. So what I'm going to do here, right, is get outsped by Marowak on my Pizza. And Pizza, it's going to get one shot. And so Pizza did nothing again. Oh, man. So I'm getting roasted by the moment. So I've only got two more Pokemon left. Things are absolutely desperate right now. I need to go for a Dynamax. I have to just to be able to live this attack. Now, all Beetle's got some good bulk. I can see that it's got Life Orb. That wasn't already obvious or anything. And now I have to go for G-Max here. I don't want to get swept by a, uh, a special, uh, you know, Marowak. People will be roasting me in the comments and stuff like that. So here we go, people. I have to one-shot this too. Now, I'm going to go for my G-Max Gravitas move, get that gravity going, and try and get myself back into the game here. Now, I'm not sure whether Marowak was their main Pokemon to a baton pass onto or where there was, like, some other Pokemon that could do some damage too. Um, so Flamethrower is going to do absolutely nothing there, only because I G-Max, and I can just go for an attacking move here and take it out. I would actually like to go for a Max Knuckle there, but since Marowak's got that ghosting typing, I, you know, it wasn't going to happen. But at least I got rid of it. That was the main thing. But sadly, I've lost four of my team to that one Pokemon. It's going to live that and have a Bubble Bee. What? It, I can't believe it lived that. I guess it was always defensive boost that it had Bubble Bee. So that was from Gen... That was from Gen 1 Virtual, like, Gen 1 Virtual Console there. Bubble Bee Marowak, only on Pewdiepie's channel. Damn, that was some disrespect. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, Slowpoke Gala. It's golden. And, man, it take my attack real easy. So this is definitely an Everlight set. And uh, this is going to be able to live that attack, like, really, really well. And it's also going to be going for a Carmine here. So it's a special attacking set. I'm assuming. Unless there's some way more uh, that they're going to pass some EV, like, I don't know, like, stats off on this thing. So, it's got its boost there. The problem is now I'm out of G-Max, so my Leech Life won't be hitting as hard as it was in G-Max here, but still I should be able to take this thing out. So, going for the Leech Life there, and Gold Poke is going to be able to live, and of course, it is also going to have a recovery move on top of that. So, you know, a very good move that the Slowpoke line gets is Slack Off, and it can just heal itself off. So, it's got Slack Off and Carmine. It must have some sort of attacking move here. So I'm going to swap out Orbito. I know what they're going to do. They're just going to go for Carmine and set up me. Have to swap, right? We've got to shift things up a gear here with uh, Genesec. And this is the only Pokemon that I really have that can do something. It is a meme set too, obviously. It is a uh, shift gear, Fury Cutter, Metal Claw, and Fell Stinger set. We've got max attack and max speed jolly nature. I've got wide lens as the item and download obviously as the ability. Now, I've got an attack boost there. We're going to uh, get a speed boost uh, with two and a plus, uh, plus one in attack. Too. So now I've got plus two in attack and plus two in speed. This is a Whirlpool Trapping Slowpoke set. So I can see what they're going to do here. They're going to try and take me out with Whirlpool and I guess just keep boosting their uh, special attack and then slacking off continually. So what I'm going to do to counter that, I'm going to go for Fury Cutter. Now, Fury Cutter is going to get exponentially more powerful the more I use it. So let's say even this Slowpoke keeps going for slack off, I'm eventually going to be able to take it out, which is very, very good. I mean, I will sustain some damage with Whirlpool, but it's okay. I should be able to take out Slowpoke. Then, right, they swap the Slowpoke poke out and they're going to go back into scholar piece like okay this is uh I, I think i've got an idea what they're going to do so we're going to go for fury cutter is doing excellent damage even though it's going to resist it right now scholar has got black slide to recovery and i know they're going to go for protect here so i'm going to go for another fury cutter and what they're going to do here they're going to go for iron defense like okay well i know that i could take scholar out i don't think it's got like rest or any recovery right the only thing they could do here was maybe pass it on to another Pokemon. I mean, they could pass it back on to Slowpoke or another one of their Pokemon here. So I know what they're trying to do. Uh, they went for a Protect a couple of times. And since there were so many animations with Speed Boost and stuff coming up there, um, I just cut those out. So it is getting Speed Boost. I just cut them out because there's like a ridiculous amount of, you know, animations here when I'm actually trying to take the Scolopede out. So that was stalling really, really hard here for Protect. And obviously my Fury Cutter wasn't doing very much damage anymore. I got a crit there too. Amazing damage. So they got two Iron Defenses off here against my Genesec. And I did have Metal Claw. That was my other move. But I didn't want to use it just yet. I still thought Fury Cutter was the way to get around this. If I could keep, like, building it up. So I thought this turn they'd go for Protect. So I went for a Shift Gear here to boost my attack again another stage. And that would make up for the speed that the Scholar Peak got as well. I did want Slowpoke outspeeding me. Not that... 
Not that that was going to happen. I mean, it, I think it would have needed like plus six speed and me to have like none to be able to outspeed. But that's another story. We're going to go back into the slowpoke now with the baton pass. Like, okay, this is their last chance of trying to shut my Genesec down. Here we go. So we're going to go for Fury Cutter here. Slowpoke is going to go for a car mine. Now, I think for a second, we still haven't seen Slowpoke's fourth move. It must be, like, surely it must be an attacking move. Like, what is that? I don't really know. We've only seen Whirlpool. So go for Fury Cutter again there. Starting to get really good damage here. Slowpoke is going to have stored powers. Like, uh oh And I know that's going to resist, but it still does a lot of damage there. So uh, it got those boosts from the Scolopede, from the speed and defense. And I'm going to take it out with a Fury Cutter. So bye-bye, Slowpoke there. Very, very nice. I finally I took the Slowpoke out. Next Pokemon is going to be the Scolopede. So I'm thinking they might try and stall me again. I was like, yep, they're going to try and stall me again and try and get some sort of like boost onto another Pokemon. And my Fury Cutter is going to fail here. I was almost going to go for a shift gear there in case like Scolopede did try something else. I thought it's fine anyway. I'll keep going for Fury Cutter. I should be able to take this out. Then I changed it up. I went for the Metal Claw there. Metal Claw doesn't need any like, you know, like boost like Fury Cutter does. And I just went for that and it took the Scolopede out, which is great. Next Pokemon is going to be a Cell Guard. I went for Metal Claws. Go for the sweeping guy. He lived. I was like, man, that is a bulkier cell guard. And they've got the acid armor there as well. So this is this is a set based around giving stats to another Pokemon as well. So it's got the acid armor up. The only bad thing for a cell guard is it is on a small amount of health, which is going to invite me to go for a fell singer. And that is going to be enough to take out a cell guard. So now I'm going to get another boost in attack. What's that like? Oh, that's a drastic boost right there. So I've got plus five in attack right now. So two from shift gears and three from that fell singer. Last Pokemon is Zigzagoon. It's popped at an extreme speed. Not going to do enough damage here. And I'm going to go for a fell singer. Disrespect on the Zigzagoon. And that is going to one shot it. And that, my friends, is the second battle. But holy moly, that Scolopede and Slowpoke took ages to faint there. Uh, thank you for the battle, Zig, uh, Zigzag Gamer. And they, they definitely tried to sweep me with, like, Slowpoke. Or Marowak, one of those two Pokemon. Last uh, battle here, this one is against Mr. Gulzord, and this is a pretty interesting battle as well. This Beetle team was actually pretty fun to use, uh, by the way. So first Pokemon we got here is going to be Slowking Gala. Now I've got my, I've got my little uh, Carablasters Elite. I'd live with this virtually every battle because I got a lot of surprise KOs on the lead. So I went for knockoff there, and Slowking got dropped in one shot because I got a lucky crit. So that was. Man, that was like an excellent start to the battle there because Slowking's very bulky. Like, who knows what sort of troll set that would have been. Next Pokemon to slide in is going to be Weezing Galar. So, we got two Galar Pokemon so far. Now, it's going to have the Misty Surge as the ability. So, like, okay, I'd love to use Drill Run, but since I'm Choice Banded, you know, I can only go for knockoffs. So like, you know what? I'm going to go for knockoff. Let's get rid of his item. So, knockoff does pretty good damage considering, and I got rid of the Choice Band. So, it's a, it's a physical uh, Alola Weezing. Well, sorry, Galar Weezing, Alola Weezing. And does it a lot of damage to your Ball because your know, Carabas isn't exactly what you call fast. We're going to swap into Pins. I was like, okay, it's time to mimic a move, people. I. Pitcher is going to be worth, like, Pitcher's going to finally earn its keep here, right? So it's going to hit me with Play Rough. It's like, man, I've got to mimic Play Rough. Right? So I'm going to mimic the Play Rough. I'm going to get Play Rough Pinsa. It's going to be absolute fire, right? Uh, we got the Weezing go for another Play Rough there, and Pinsa is going to faint. So I was hoping it was going to miss. So that was the hardest bit about that set was to mimic a move. Unfortunately, in these three battles, Pinsa did absolutely nothing. It just was a meat shield. Going back at the Yummy Snails now, go for the Drill Run. I know that it's have a like, Levitate because I had that Misty Surge from the start. And Play Rub is going to land, and that is also going to take out my little Carabasu. So this uh, Weezing Galar has become a massive threat. Now, we're going to go to Heracross here. Heracross, um, I thought, well, I might be able to actually just go for Enduro and get a weakness policy here. So let's go ahead and go for that. You know, Play Rough's going to be super effective. It's actually funny because when I knocked off the item on Weezing, that actually helped it out because he went for a Gyro Ball at the side. It would have been locked into that. So that really did help it out. So getting my weakness policy on Heracross, finally, it took like quite a few battles for this to happen. And I'm in Swarm range too. So like, this is pretty good. Um, not that I'm probably going to use, like, uh, you know, Swarm again, like, the Struggle Bug against that. So Weezing's going to swap out, and Serena is going to swap in. So, like, wait, this is good. I actually went for the Venoshock here. So Venoshock is going to be hitting pretty hard against Serena. I mean, it's not doing lots of damage, but it did a half L, which is pretty impressive. Uh, it's going to have a leftover as the item, too. So now I've got Struggle Bug Swarm plus Weakness Policy. So... This is going to do probably as much damage. No, it's probably not going to do as much damage as a normal Mega Horn. But you know what? You, you know what I mean, anyway. So bye bye, Serena. So that was excellent. So Heracross is carrying me right now. Next Pokemon to slide in is going to be 
Gastrodon. So Gastrodon's a pretty bulky Pokemon. I'm going to go for a Struggle Bug here. And yeah, I really did struggle to do some damage here. So I got a special attack drop, which is yeah, incredible. So now uh, Gastron is going to be a, a physical set. All right. And that's going to take my Heracross out in obviously one shot there. I mean, I feel like... Oh, it was, it was a close call there. Maybe if I had two or three health, I might have lived. And it also has Life Orb, too. So, like, oh, Life Orb. So, like a fully attacking Gastron. Very nice. So, going into Genesec right now, I thought this might be a good idea. I could get some Fury Cutters up here. So, I got an Attack Rise, which is great. Going for the Fury Cutter on Gastron. Excellent damage there. Excellent, excellent damage. Now, Gastron is going to go for a uh, Earthquake Life Orb again. That, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage to Gastron. Now, the funny thing is, Life Orb has put it in range for me to go for a Fell Stinger, and Gastrodon is going to fight, so I'm going to get a plus. Th that's plus four in attack right there. So I got plus one uh, with the download, right? And I got plus three with the um, the KO and Fell Stinger. Uh, Weeks is coming in. It's on a low amount of health. I was like, man, I can go for another Fell Stinger here. This is going to be wild, right? I can get plus six in that. So, Wing comes wheezing with its uh, Misty Surge anyway. The Mist is all around. I'm going to go for Fell Stinger. Like, I know that's resistant, but I should be able to take it out. Right? Right? <laughs> I didn't take it out. So, I went for it. People were egging me on to go for it. And uh, Weezing is going to go boom there. And that is going to be hitting me pretty hard with a critical hit. So, bye-bye, Genesis. I should have just gone for Metal Claw. Let's be real. Probably would have missed. So, I, 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 I guess that was almost bait for Fell Stinger. I feel like that was bait for Fell Stinger. So, Genesect is going to uh, fight there in a pile of salt. Next Pokemon is Orbital. I mean, you have sometimes you got to go for a people. You got to go for that. Uh, I would have loved to get that boost there. Then I could have spare Metal Claw. Next Pokemon is uh, Tornadus. Now uh, this is pretty interesting. So as you know, Tornadus is uh, is, is going to be floating in the air, right? And I've got uh, Orbital with its G Max move. So it's got a Misty Seed there. It's going to raise its special defense, which doesn't really worry me too much with this uh, physical or beetle. Now I can go for G-Max uh, Gravitas and then I can make it uh, lose it. So like it won't be floating anymore. It'll be on the ground, which is gonna be very, very nice here. Now I'm not sure what sort of moves this has, but any flying type move is gonna be hitting all beetle or any of my team very, very hard. It's got Acrobatics, Misty Sea. That's, that's, that's a very powerful set. So it's gonna be uh, hitting me really, really hard right there. And Tornadus, is not going to get one shot of the sound. I was hoping for the one shot, but it does have a fair bit of bolt. So now it's going to, uh, gravity is going to intensify. It's going to fall from the sky. And uh, Acrobats is going to take my Orbit out and Gemma. That was really, really impressive damage there, taking Orbit out in two shots in G Max there. I mean, I know I was, I was running Max Health, but still, that, that's very, very bulky. Next Pokemon has got Vigabolt, and this is my last one here. I think that is GG, my friends. And I do have the quick activation. I was like, wow, it actually worked. And I went for that uh, that neutral damage flash cannon and took out the Tornadus. I don't think I would have won if I didn't take Tornadus out there with a the quick claw, like uh, quick claw activation uh, flash cannon. Last Pokemon is going to be uh, Scrafty. It's shiny too. It's, it's holding up its green pants there. And it's got Intimidate too. So good thing I'm not running a physical Vickabot this time. So it's going to be their choice of uh, Dynamax Pokemon too because I haven't Dynamax yet in this battle. Now, what I was thinking about here, I was like, well, Air Slash, I could go for that, but what if it's got something like weakness policy, you know? And I was thinking about what moves I got. I got Bug Bars, I got Flash Cannon, I got Zap Cannon. Zap Cannon will be good, but I can't paralyze it this turn. I've, I've got one more turn of Misty Terrain too, so I just went for Zap Cannon because I thought that would be the most damage there, and I won't have a chance at activating, uh, you know, weakness policy, if it does have. I, I have no idea what item it has. So uh, I'm gonna get my uh, speed drop there. Not that I'm really that fast anyway. I'm relying on uh, you know my quick claw, and I landed a zap cannon. That was really cool. Now the mist is gone from the field here. I went for the zap cannon. This time, like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to live both of them, but I do. Have, sorry, land both of them, but I do have the gravity up, so that will help. But you still can miss with zap cannon uh, under gravity. So going for a uh, zap cannon again there. It lands, which is beautiful. And now the scrafty has got paralyzed. I know that it doesn't have shed skin either. It does have Intimidate, so I'm going for the Air Slash now. Does less than Zap Cannon, and Scrafty, unfortunately, does not get paralyzed, and it's going to go for a Max Starter. So I was hoping I could get the Paralyze there and then hit it outside of Dynamax. I might have had a good chance there. But anyway, people, that is it for the last Beetle Battle. Hope you enjoyed all three of them, and I'll catch you tomorrow for another video. Peace out.